Welcome back to James David Custom Homes, where we're taking you behind the scenes of our extraordinary hillside construction project in the heart of Los Angeles County. We're diving into the intricate process of framing, a crucial step in creating the luxurious homes that define our brand. Now at this stage, we've already framed the first floor, and it's time to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of framing the rest of this magnificent hillside home. On the second floor, things take a different turn. Here, we have a wood subfloor. Our first step is meticulously chalking out the layout of the exterior and interior walls. You can see portions of it being chalked out right here. Once the layout is snapped out, we build the walls on the floor and carefully lift them into place. For walls sitting on the concrete foundation, we anchor them in securely with anchor bolts and lock them into place. Now let's talk about our joist system between floors and introduce two critical elements, tube steel and Nelson studs. Take a look at our previous video to see how we craned in tube steel. It's super important to ensure that the tube steel is straight, plumb, and level because, as you will see, the second and third floors will be framed so that they are level with the tube steel. When adding framing members to tube steel, we anchor wood nailers to the Nelson studs, which are welded to the tube steel. If you look closely, you'll see Nelson studs and wood nailers strategically placed everywhere. The overhead unit of tube steel features large wood nailers mounted to the side of it. This is where we will mount our joist hangers, which will support our wood floor joists. For this project, our floor joists are prefab units created off-site, ensuring precision. First, the hangers are mounted to the wood nailer, then, the eye joists are cut to size, dropped in place, and securely fastened. Following the floor joists, we bring in the subfloor plywood, usually 1 and 1 inch, fastened with screws and subfloor adhesive for stability. Accessibility and safety are paramount when building on a steep hillside. That's why we often build temporary staircases, ensuring safe access to each level, convenience for both the homeowner and our team during construction. Now, here's a crucial tip. Meticulous planning is key. Changes after the foundation and framing start can be costly due to access issues. It's best to involve the entire team, homeowner, architect, builder, and designer to ensure that all parties are involved in the layout and design. In summary, with the right team in place and proper protocols followed, building on a hillside can be safe and spectacular. Join us on this journey of luxury home construction. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights from James David Custom Homes. Thinking of building a house on a hillside? Give us a call.